All right, welcome to the nursery at Faith Reformed Church. I am Jody Danforth and I'm the nursery coordinator. And I know many of you have been in here serving already and we thank you for that. Uh, welcome to those of you who are new. Uh, we just wanted to give you a quick orientation and um, show you some things in the nursery. So if you look around the nursery, um, you will see that it looks pretty much like an ordinary nursery that you'd find anywhere, um, just like a secular daycare almost. But if you take a closer look, you will see that this room is actually a world of opportunity for discipleship, a place of prayer, a place where babies can experience Christ's loving presence, and a place where they are introduced to their Good Shepherd for the first time. So in this video, we are just going to walk you through a short orientation to explain uh, what the purpose of the nursery is and what resources are at your disposal and also how you as a volunteer in the nursery uh, can introduce these little ones to their Savior, Jesus Christ. Let's get started with the most important question, which is why. Why are we here in the first place? Why does the nursery exist? The main reason why the nursery exists is not just so that parents can have a single solitary hour in their busy week where they don't have to have crying and sobbing and fighting in the background, although that's very nice. The fundamental reason that the nursery exists is it's an opportunity to shower children with prayer. It's an opportunity to introduce them to Jesus for the very first time. It's not just a daycare, it's more than that. And so no one modeled to us the value of children in God's kingdom better than Jesus. Even though Jesus had the most important work in the world to do, preaching the gospel to the crowds, discipling his disciples, healing the sick, casting out demons, he always had time in his day for the nursery. He always had time to gather a little one into his arms. As it says in Luke 18, that parents were even bringing infants to come and be held and to be blessed by Jesus. Jesus was not too busy for the nursery. What we're doing here is every bit as important as any other aspect of what happens on a Sunday morning. So here in the nursery, we want to adopt the same loving posture towards children that the Lord Jesus did. We want children to come in here and feel the welcoming presence, the warm embrace of Jesus himself. All right, at this point, you might be wondering, how can changing dirty diapers and burping babies and breaking up little toddler squabbles be actually serving a kingdom purpose? Well, that is a great question. And we have three tools specifically that will help you as you introduce the little ones to Jesus. And the first one is prayer. And it's important before you begin working every Sunday in the nursery to just bathe that time before you come in in prayer. And we want to pray that we are able to have God work through us, that we would shine Christ's love to the children, and that they would be spiritually receptive to the truths that we will be teaching them through reading and music and just in our interactions with them. Um, and that spirit actually of prayer can carry over into the whole nursery time. We have on the wall now um, a monthly prayer prompt and a scripture verse. So if you can read that before you start work and then even during the time that you're serving in uh, the nursery, it would be a great opportunity for you to lift up the children in your care as you spend quality time with them. And that is something you can pray silently. You can even pray it aloud to them as the little ones hear you um, lifting them up in prayer and just think about how powerful that would be, that long-term impact of praying over each child in this nursery 40 or 50 times in a year. Um, so every month there will be a new one and you can check that out um, the first weekend of the month. The second tool that we have at our disposal is the power of reading and scripture in particular. You may be wondering, how can infants and babies glean from hearing something read? Well, in scripture, there's this amazing teaching in 2 Timothy 3.15 where Paul reminds Timothy how from infancy he had been acquainted with the sacred writings. And so I think children are capable of absorbing much more with their little sponge-like minds than we give them credit for. Even in recent years, neuroscientists have been discovering how children already have a full set of 800 sounds uh, downloaded into their little mind from the first moment that they draw breath. 
Even in Psalm 22, David praises God for taking him from his mother's womb and how he was able to depend on God from his infancy. So we should never underestimate how much little ones can glean when we read scripture to them. And so to that end, we have retooled uh, the nursery with a little library of books that are kid-friendly, kid-specific, uh, very doctrinally sound and well-written. The main one that I want to highlight is called the Big Picture Story Bible. Uh, this is a, a Bible that has wonderful illustrations, it's faithful to scripture, and it's written at a toddler level. There are also a number of other books that teach big truths for little minds. And so I really commend those resources to you. They're there for you to get out and read, even on a weekly basis, praying that God would uh, drill these truths deep into the heart of the littlest lambs in our flock. The third and final resource that you have at your disposal here in the nursery is music. We have a CD player and some CDs that have um, scriptural based lullabies on them. They are not your typical repetitious kind of silly kid songs, but they are high quality, uh, very soothing, and the lyrics are straight from scripture. So just taking that simple step of turning on the CD player can create a change in the atmosphere, a peacefulness that would just um, surround the children. Scripture is cascading into their little minds and hearts and might just bring peace to your mind as you're serving in the nursery as well. So these are the three tools we have for you that you can use to intentionally introduce little ones to Jesus in the nursery. We have prayer and we have reading and we have music. The last thing we want to address in this orientation is just a few logistical details that uh, you will need to know on a weekly basis when you're in the nursery. So first and foremost, Faith Reformed Church has a child safety policy. The sole reason it exists is to protect and shepherd our little ones. And so according to that policy, we're only allowed to have little ones present if there are two 18 or older adults present. We've made an exception to that to allow for middle school or high school students to be present. So every week, there should be one adult leader and two youth leaders. From time to time, you may see the deacons uh, peeping through the window or opening the door. That's just to be in keeping with the child safety policy. Uh, we just want there to be a safe and uh, protective environment for the little guys. And so if it's about nine or 9.05 and that rolls around and you do not have a second person present with you, you can look up on the south wall here excuse me, the east wall, where we have basically printed out the entire monthly schedule. So if your partner is missing for that week, then you can look over to this sign right here where it has Jody Danforth and Macy Ewing's contact information. So what you can do is if someone's missing, just give one of those ladies a text and they should be coming in to fill in. Wendy, the church secretary, will be sending out extensive reminders via email and other notifications uh, when your time to serve in the nursery is coming up. Jody Danforth also sends out a text each Thursday so that you remember that. But in the event that you do need a substitute, just send a text to Jody Danforth. She can send you a list of other volunteers who could fill in. The one thing I wanna say with that is just make sure if you are tapping on the shoulder of someone to come and serve in your place, that it's someone who is on the approved nursery list so that they've been approved uh, with the child safety policy. All right, on Sundays, we ask that you come around 10 minutes early just to be in here when the parents begin dropping their children off. When the parents bring their children in, they usually will bring a diaper bag. So we have a sign-in sheet that we'd love for them to fill out or you can actually write it for them. Um, just putting the child's name down, uh, their parents, any special needs that they have, um, and while they're in the nursery. And then really important actually is the description of the diaper bag, because once you get more than two or three diaper bags starting to pile up, you do forget whose is whose. And um, so you'll wanna just make that note. Um, also, there's a changing table right here, and then dirty diapers can be placed in a small garbage basket right there by the window. Also, um, there are up in the cupboard, in case you do need diapers, there are diapers up there in case someone 
would run out. Uh, we have that for your use. Also, there's a dial over on the wall here by the door that you can turn on to listen to the service. It's up to you whether you'd like to do that. Our ultimate goal, obviously, is for the little ones here to become active participants in corporate worship as early as possible, and listening to the service could facilitate that. However, if you do find that that's kind of a distraction for um, the kids, or for you even, maybe playing with them or praying with them, just serving them in general, you can turn that off, and that's totally up to you. Um, once the service is over, just please stay here until all the children are picked up. Make sure the room is picked up and the toys are back where they belong. If you notice that there's some maybe with sniffles and they've been putting the toys in their mouths a lot or something, you can put those in the sink and we will get those cleaned up. If you ever have a question about anything in the nursery, please feel free to reach out to me, um, phone, text, email, even Wendy also in the office. She's very good at knowing everything that goes on in here. Um, we just thank you so much for serving in the nursery. We thank you for introducing our littlest ones in the church to their savior.